so here we are again with our project and uh, what we want to do now is to create a login test. So what's the behavior behind that? First of all, we have to open Google Chrome, right? The browser. After that, we have to enter in this URL, right? But let's take it step by step and just create a, a, a method in which we open Google Chrome. Before starting to write inside of this test method, which this is the main thing where we are going to write the login, um, let's, let's rename it. We will say login test. Okay, yes, uh, and this will be login. But before login, we have to enter in uh, Google Chrome, right? So let's create here a property private i web driver driver, and you will use this very much. So this is a very important thing. We have to import the package selenium and let's create a, a test initialize this is another um, annotation and this one will run every time a test method is running so before running the test we will run what will happen here inside this test initialize so let's create a method it's exactly like this method right here but we will name it setup. Let's open it. And inside of this, we will prepare our page for the login page. So what do we have to do first of all? We have to open Google Chrome. How are we going to do this? Right, driver, this one, equal new Chrome driver. Okay, so now we will open a Chrome driver. Okay, we have to import this too, Selenium Chrome, and now let's run it to see how it goes. Run. As you can see, it opened my Google Chrome window and the test just passed, but I want to maximize this window. So how are we going to do this? Let's close it for for this time. Let's. Okay, and here we are going to say driver that manage that window that maximize. Sorry, without this. Okay, let's see right now. How it's going to look like and as you can see it opened it uh, in full screen so the test passed successfully now we have to travel to our URL right to www here this is my Chrome opened uh, by me <laughs> manually so, and back here, we have to write driver.navigate go to URL and inside of this we have to write the URL this one copy and paste Okay, let's see how it works now And as you can see, it takes us to this page. So until now, everything is just perfect. Very good. And the test passed. And now we have to go to uh, this button, login, uh, login button, right? How are we going to do this? Well, uh, we have to right click on this and press inspect. If you don't have it uh, here in the bottom, you have to go here and you just have to change this. Okay, good. And 
let's click, click again on this one, inspect, and we have it here. So this is our button, the button that we uh, need. Okay. Now um, we have to be organized, so we should not write here our buttons and the identificators um, for the page. So we are going to create another class. This one is just a simple class. Login page. Okay. We also have to import uh, the driver inside this one. Okay. Also import here. And um, and what we have to do. Um, here is to write public the name of this class which is login page and inside of this we will have another iWeb driver named browser and this one will be equal browser uh, this is a uh, by default thing you have to write this every single time inside of this inside of any class named uh, page at the end so you will see we will we will uh, use this name a lot page very good so inside of this class we will uh, insert every single element from the page like the login button everything we need we will write inside of this one how do you identify an object we have to say private by, uh, let's say, login, you have to put a name, equal, we have to identify it by, um, we have xpath, uh, CSS selector, by ID, by name, um, these are all the common way to identify an element inside the page. And uh, how we can identify this, this button? You, you have to press Ctrl F inside of here and just write, for example, button. We have to try for, we will try to identify this one by CSS selector. Inspect it again and uh, let's say button. And here we will say class equal. And inside of this, we have to write btn, btn. SM. Uh, as you can see, this one, this name is unique. One out of one findings. We found so we found one out of one. So just copy this. Go inside your um, code and write CSS selector because this is the method we use. And inside this one, inside the co quotes, we will write the identificator, right? Okay, so um, we will not use this element because we have to transform it so that Selenium can understand it in iWeb element. And let's name it uh, btn login. And we can do this. You can also write this, but. I prefer to use like this and say driver dot find element and we will write this uh, name inside of this login okay so we just identified this one this button and also inside the page class we have to write the method that will click on on this element okay so let's create a, a method go to log login method and inside of this we will write btn dot click because this is what we do right Oh, sorry. 
Okay, we see. okay. So now we will write we will write the method that we just created inside our, our login test. And for doing this, first we have to insert in this uh, test initialize uh, our new para parameter login equal new login page driver, and we have to use it here login dot let's see the method here and that's it let's see if it works and it should press on login yeah so it pressed on login so now we have to find this uh, elements right so we, we can complete the username and the password so for doing this we have to inspect this again and search for the name of this one inspect again and we can see that this is an input and it has an ID so when we are going to identify this one we will use the ID let's copy this go back in our login page and above this method I like to separate uh, elements from the um, methods so here we will say private by username equal by id and inside of this we have to insert the name we found on the page and uh, also like above private by web element um, let's say username called driver dot find element username and the password private by password I think it's also by ID let's see inspect yeah so this is also by ID copy this one insert in here and web element password driver dot find element password very good so now we have these elements right here and now let's create another method for login application and let's say public void login application and let's give it a parameters so we will give string username string password open this once and inside of this we will say username yeah the um, iweb element dot send keys username the same we are going to do with the password send keys password so this username is from this one and password is this parameter and now uh, if we go back here we also have this button so let's inspect this one too because we have to press it after we insert the name and the password we have to press login so this one is also an input class so let's say we have to find it by CSS selector and say input class equal and this is called um, we have to copy this here so it's one out of one so this is not a problem it will not interact with another element we have to go back here let's put the element we found here again login click let's say uh, equal by CSS selector we pa paste here what we found and private by web element btn login click 
subscriber dot find element mm, login click okay so after we write the name and the password we will say that btn login click sorry click click on it so we will click on this this is an action we will have to write this method inside our our test so we will need the same uh, login parameter because we also write in login page that login application and we have to give it some parameters as you see we have to specify a name and a password so the name will be okay and the password okay let's see if it works let's see and it works so this is it for today i hope you learned something and see you in the next video i want to make just one small adjustment as you can see here um, this pop-up will appear every single time so let's uh, let's identify this uh, button and just click on it i think you got the idea how everything works so i will just rush things up And now let's see if it works. It works. Yeah. Okay. See you in the next video.